Well, good morning, YouTube. This is Alex with my long awaited review of the <clears throat> Southward Pagota pick set. You may have seen a few of these in a couple of my previous videos. I've been fiddling with them for, I don't know, five days or so since I've got them. Uh, JM Murdy did a nice review of them the other day, uh, um, but just a few impressions that I've had. Um, of the law of the uh, the picks, so um, they're you know pretty standard uh, southward construction. Um, the metal is 0.023 uh, inches, or for the, those of you in metric speaking countries, 0 0.58 millimeters. To almost 0.6, pretty standard um, thickness. That's a seems like a pretty good uh, thickness. They get in most keyways pretty well. Um, I thought I'd give you or attempt to give you a close up of the. Uh, this is the three point Bogota, um, which should be in focal plane now. So you can see it's actually finished reasonably well. Um, this is pretty smooth. This is the top edge, which is what you care about. Um, it's reasonably shiny. I know some of you will take this to a mirror polish, but I think this is more than, you know, sufficient. Um, the bottom, how well you can see, but there's still a little bit of ridging from the etching process, but they do seem to have done something um, along the top to finish it a little better. Some of them look like they might have even beveled them a little bit. I'd say the shape is also pretty um, nice, but they're nice and pointy, which I like uh, for Bogota or fake Bogota. Um, and, uh, you know, this guy's worked pretty well for me, I'd say. So, I would call all of these here, this whole set Bogota style, um, based on the shape of the little arcs. Um, of them, I don't usually find this one particularly useful for my picking, but you know, it may change. Um, the two and the three seem to work pretty well for most uh, applications where the Bogota fits. Um, and uh, yeah, just to give you a comparison in shape, this is the Sparrows Bogota, I believe. Yeah, um, so the pitch is a little bit different on these. It's a little further apart. I believe that's a, I believe that's the Bogota. I hope that's not the snake. Um, they're kind of hard to tell apart, but uh, the pitch is a little bit different, um, and the, um, yeah, and the tips are not as pointy. This is from the Wizwazzle collection. Um, it's actually one of the first sets of picks I bought. Um, but you can see that the Sparrows is a little less pointy. That's the the uh, Southward is a little pointier. And I think that's good because it gets you a little better reach and nice deep cuts. So I think that's a, a nice design. This, I mean, Sparrows works just fine um, for me. So I've had a lot of good luck with that. Um, now, these guys um, are also, you know, in the Bogota ca category based on their shape. And um, I think the, uh, what is it, Ray or uh, the gentleman who makes, who sort of invented these, he has a couple that have this general shape um, with sort of random, well, not random, but differently placed um, things, so where, where they have a gap. Um, I understand the point of these. The idea being that if you have a um, if you have a lock where the um, you know where the bidding is maybe high, low, 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 high kind of thing, or you've got a couple um, high set pins in the back, low ones, and maybe something in the front, that could be pretty useful. Sometimes the the regular one will just kind of get in the way in the middle. Um, the criticism I have of these. Um, particularly these two here, um, 
you know, they're, the construction's just as good as the others. But this is a um, this is a seven pin best key. Okay, it's from I think it's from one of the locks that Bill sent me. Okay, this the shoulder is there, so that's about as far. And, um, and I mean that just barely is long. I mean that thing would fit in there and hit the last pin, and you have the entire thing in there. You wouldn't be able to get this these two points further in. Um, and on a most of your other you know, typical keys, um, uh, you know, like this, which is a just a Y1. If you look at where the shoulder lines up, you can barely get this peak in. Same deal with this one. Um, so, you know, if you can ram this in past the back of the uh, plug, you might be okay. But I, I find them a little too long to be where to where you could actually use the uh, all of the the humps on them, um, and if you compare it to like the three prong one, you can see how much further out the extra humps are. So maybe that works for some locks, but I haven't found those to be particularly useful. So of these, if I were just buying them uh, separately, let me swing over a little bit. If I were buying, you know, if I were buying them individually and choosing which ones I was going to get, of course it's more expensive, but I would probably just buy these two. And these other ones are more curiosities for me. I haven't really found those to be particularly helpful. Now, this pick, which I've been calling the Katana, but I have no idea what they, what the, if it has a specific name, um, in in their product literature. Um, focus. Nice sharp focus on it. Um, I've actually had really good luck with this. Um, it works nicely. It's better for narrower keyway or for uh, uh, keyways where you have a little less room. If you look at the height, it's just a bit shorter. Where's my tool? Um, so the regular Bogota registers about um, inches, please. About 150, um, so 0. 0.1415 inches. Um, this guy is more like 11, so 10, so it's about 50 thousandths shorter, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but that's actually a ton of room in a, in a tight keyway. Um, nice little peaks on it. Uh, the finish is about equivalent to the other ones. The criticism I have of this, if anybody from South Org is watching my video, <clears throat> is that um, something to point with. Another South Org pick. This bit here, this point, which is nice because it, it, you can kind of use it as a hook, but the problem is that when you're trying to get into a keyway, um, you have to kind of angle this thing up, which sort of defeats the purpose of it being narrower because this thing wants to just ram into the pins, right? Whereas the, the Bogotas, or um, I, I use a lot of diamonds too, with this slope, they just sort of scoop under the pins, okay? And so I found this to be a, this guy to be a little bit annoying in some some key ways. Um, so a version of this where um, the last lump may, maybe it was stuck out a little more, or maybe they just put a little little extra bit of metal there to to slope it down. I think that would make it a little bit more usable, or a version of it like that would be kind of neat. <clears throat> um, but I like this pick, so I'm going to add this to the the set of picks that. I have found that I use um, more frequently. Um, <clears throat> and I'll set this here. Then you have your two <clears throat> um, more traditional picks. Um, a, uh, what I'd call a, a deeper hook, a medium hook, um, and a, uh, a reach diamond or a uh, deforest, I don't know what you want to call that. Um, this is nice for really getting up in wacky spots, but the tip is so fine 
that it doesn't like to sit on the pin. It just likes to rock right off of the right off of the the pin. So it's all right, but it doesn't really get used that much um, I, fiddling with it. This is a nice reach diamond. Um, I've got some of their other reach diamonds. It's just fine. Um, finish on it is not as good. Um, maybe in a little bit of raking light, you can, pun in, not intended, but there's a little bit of roughness in here, which you really don't want. Um, and that, um, the back of the pick is a little bit rough. Pardon my filthy fingers, but I've been doing a lot of stuff in the garage. Um, so not as happy with that, but the sides are, the sides are all right. Um, so I would put this in the, uh, useful category. And then it comes with four tensors. Um, they're all the same width nominally. Um, and I think they're the same thickness. Let's check. Um, but nice if I'd done this before I shot it, but, um, so they're 33 thousandths. 33 thousandths, yeah, they're all the same. Um, the difference here is that, if you can see, one of them, of each of the sets is, um, has been tapered a little bit. They've chamfered off a little bit of the metal there. So the difference in width on the regular one, the stock is about 0.11 and on the the reduced one, it's about 0.08, so about three thousandths, thirty thousandths narrower, which could be good for getting in in some keyways. And since with Bogotas, you typically want bottom of the keyway tension. Um, that's nice. I haven't really fiddled with these too much, but they're you know they're similar to a bunch of other tensors that I have, but they're they're pretty nice. And for the to go in the set, it's not bad. And then these are the same tensors, but with um, but with a little flex, you know, twist in them, so you get flexier feedback. And just to, here's my impression. Um, it's a nice set. I think it's a good value. Can't remember the exact price, but um, I don't remember it being too expensive, and so I thought it was worth buying. I don't usually buy pick sets. I usually buy individuals. Um, but I would say that of the picks, these are the four that I would use. The tensors are nice, but you've probably already got a bunch of those. These picks might, I mean, maybe this single um, single Bogota or open diamond, whatever you want to call it, that might be, you know, I'll put that sort of in the middle, that might be helpful, but I usually, if I'm going to come in with a diamond, I'm going to use a diamond. Um, these three, these four here, I think are pretty, I'm not going to say useless, but I'm, I'd say they're of limited use limited uh, um, limited use yeah so um, so I so pluses the Bogotas themselves are very nicely constructed they're probably not quite as well shaped and definitely not as well finished as um, the uh, the originals um, but they're the finish is good enough that I think about five minutes with a piece with a couple pieces of uh, sandpaper and you'd have them to something you'd call pretty perfect. Um, you know, standard southward handles, pretty good. Um, I like a little thicker handle, but that's fine. Um, so I was happy with the fit and finish overall. Um, I think if you just want to get some southward Bogotas, you might just, assuming they're available individually, you might just get these, these guys, these three. That's what I would have done in retrospect. I'll play some more with these and if I find that they're these sort of more spaced out ones, I find if, if I find they're useful for something I'll let you know. But um, So overall not a bad value. Um, there's the little, comes in a little, you saw the case from the other video, but um, you know, it's nice to keep them separate. Um, so if I had it to do again, to be honest, I probably would have just bought uh, maybe three or four of these, um, probably these three. Um, and if you already have Bogotas, I would I would look at this one, assuming you can get it individually. This is kind of a cool one, and I might even file that little tip off. But it um, that that's a nice pick. So um, 
but uh, you know, if you want to get a pick set with uh, Bogota's and a few other picks that make it kind of round it out, not a bad value. And um, you know, as always, uh, Southward makes makes good products. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This is Alex. Have fun, and please keep it legal. Cheers.